Hi there, this is James Anderson with jmbullion.com. When you're buying or selling silver and gold online or locally at a coin shop, which deals are required by the IRS to be reported by the dealer and which deals are completely exempt from IRS reporting? This topic, it creates a lot of misinformation online, so we at JM Bullion, we decided to create a free infographic so that you, the silver and gold investor at home, can totally know what the facts are here. This infographic is entitled, Reportable Transactions When Buying and Selling Gold and Silver, What the IRS Needs to Know. Now come with me, I'm going to take you through a quick preview of this infographic, and then I'm going to show you where you can find it. If privacy in your silver and gold buying is important to you, you're definitely going to want to study our new infographic. With this report, you will learn about IRS reporting requirements for all domestic online silver and gold dealers and local coin shops selling silver and gold to the public in the USA. You will not only learn what deals the IRS requires to be reported, you're going to also learn some of the reasons why. When you buy your bullion, the IRS has some policies in place to track large cash transactions. This is for anti-money laundering purposes. In this report, you will learn specifically what the IRS defines as cash transactions. You will also learn what types of payments are not considered cash and therefore not reportable. When you sell your silver and gold, specific products sold in certain quantities are mandated to be reported by dealers in IRS 1099-B forms. A 1099-B form will require a seller's social security number or passport number to be filled out by the silver or gold dealer who is in this case the buying party. Our free infographic will specifically show you which silver, gold, platinum, and palladium products are reportable items when sold and in what quantities. This report will also illustrate to you which silver and gold bullion products are currently exempt from dealer reporting requirements and also the historical reasons why certain products do not qualify for current reporting requirements. This new infographic is designed to educate the public on privacy concerns. At JM Bullion, we want physical silver and gold investors to learn what current dealer reporting requirement rules are so they can make educated buying decisions. Reporting requirements can always change in the future, so stay tuned to our JM Bullion YouTube channel for any updates and reporting requirement changes. Please note, bullion buying privacy does not mean silver and gold bullion investors are in any way exempt from paying any and all capital gains taxes. For any tax-related questions, please seek professional tax counsel. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link below in the About section where you can click it and it'll take you directly to this infographic where you can learn all this information for free. As well, the next time you're in the market to buy or sell gold and silver at jmbullion.com, Come and visit us. We have low premiums, low minimums, fast delivery, and free shipping discreetly, fully insured to your door. If you like the video, do subscribe to our channel as well. We're going to have plenty more like this coming out soon with essential information for gold and silver investors. As well, if you liked it, like the video. Uh, also, leave comments below and um, leave questions as well. We'll be answering any questions in the YouTube comments section of this video. All right. Thank you so much for coming by and uh, we'll speak to you next time.